So Maxine Waters, the representative from California, made a statement that that I took issue with because it it draws back to a bigger problem of people nowadays making extreme comparisons to historical events that are not <clears throat> the uh, they make comparison of modern day events uh, to historical events that aren't on the same caliber. So just listen to this statement and then I'll, I'll come back. To be able to petition to get into the country. What the hell are we doing here? What we witnessed takes us back hundreds of years. What we witnessed was worse than what we witnessed in slavery. Cowboys with their reign. Okay. So if you didn't hear her, she said, what we witnessed is what was worse than what we witnessed during slavery. Now, she's referencing the treatment of Haitian migrants at the U.S. border, which has now become the latest scandal. Oh, my goodness. Okay. The optics and the actual treatment of the Haitian migrants was poor. Okay. Um, first off, they deported them faster than I had ever seen people get deported before in my life. Like they were putting them on planes and just shipping them off. Um, and these people were trying to seek asylum because there was a time period that they could make it here to seek asylum. But apparently the deadline passed, or they, they got here, um, too late for the deadline, apparently. And, um, so a lot of them were just stuck there. They were just sitting at the border between the U S and Mexico and Texas. And they were going back and forth across the border. They had food. You could see they had kids with them. It, it was like, it's a rough situation for them to be in because first off, Haiti is just going through like turmoil right now. The president just got assassinated and they just went through a natural disaster. It's just complete chaos. And there's a lot of violence going on. So people are leaving. I would leave too. I would try to find a better life too. And it's just a, a rough situation to be in. But but what happened when they were there, um, you had a situation where they were, I think they were cro trying to cross a river and the border patrol agents came down on horseback and were like trying to, I don't know what they were trying to do, honestly. It looked like they were trying to scare them off. Some, some of them were trying to grab them, but then they wouldn't grab them. Or they were grabbing by the shirt and then they let them go. And I don't, I don't know what they were trying to do. But you had people starting the arguments about the whips. Because at first it did look like they were trying to whip them. But they were like, oh no, that's horse reins. They're just horse reins. But those reins, they were, they were swinging those reins like they were about to do something with them. So it does look, it does echo what you would have seen back during slavery. That's why I said in my other video that it looked like uh, something out of a slavery enactment video. But would I say that's literally slavery and literally worse than slavery? No, I would not. Okay. That's a very hyperbolic statement to make. And like I said, you could say it echoes slavery. That's fine. But to say it's worse than slavery makes no sense. It really, uh, it obviously makes no sense. And this is a problem nowadays. You have people who make these extremely hyperbolic statements. Like you have, um, uh, what's her name? Marjorie Taylor Greene saying, uh, the vaccine mandates are like uh, Jews being forced to wear a, a, a the gold star. And this is like um, the, the Nazis are back and always calling everything a Nazi and tyranny and this and that. And then um, then you had like last a uh, few years ago with the border crisis when uh, they did the parent, sep parent and child separation policy. And you had all those people in the detention camps and it, it looked like um, like internment. So you had some people, I think it was AOC that's that it was either AOC, some people, a bunch of people made the comparison to the Holocaust for some reason that was nowhere near the Holocaust. But because something echoes or looks similar in a way, in a small way, it could be just as simple as people leaning on the gates, which they were leaning on the fences. And that looks like the people who were in those lines in the rows of the, the barbed wire fences during the Holocaust in those um, concentration camps. That you could say things echo or that looks similar. That reminds me of this. But even then, you have to be careful because some people go off the rails with it and make it extremely hyperbolic. So modern day events being compared to um, past events in that way is a problem because it, it takes away the weight of what actually happened back then. Because you're comparing them to things that aren't on the same level 
as what happened back then. Even if they echo something that happened back then, if it's not like literally that or worse, don't compare it. Don't say, oh, that's like this. Or, oh, that's worse than this. Because it's it's more than uh, usually not. It's usually not like what they're comparing it to. And when people say, oh, that's literally like Hitler, you're you're acting like Hitler. Like Those are extreme comparisons that just most of the time don't make any sense. <laughs> they really don't in the way that people use them or in the context that people use them. So that's my problem with Maxine Waters saying this. Now, she is 83 years old. She lived through parts of the Jim Crow era. She should know better than to not compare things like this to slavery. Or, or she should know the weight of what went on back then. And I'm not, no, I'm not saying she lived in slavery times, but she lived in an era where there was some bad stuff like out and out still going on. And I'm not saying stuff doesn't go on now, but... I'm saying she lived through that that time, through the civil rights movement, through all that time. She lived through that. So she should know better than to say stuff like this. And I don't know if she meant to say it or what, but don't make extreme comparisons like this. This goes for anybody. I, I try not to make extreme comparisons. I will say that reminds me of something or that echoes this. But unless it's actually the same I'm not going to make a, if it's on the same level, then that's when you can make that comparison. But if it's not, just don't make that. Just don't, don't do that because you're watering down the gravity of bad things that actually happen. So, um, yeah, that's what I got for this one. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, like, comment, comment, subscribe, like, whenever you do it, however you do it, wherever you do it, just do it. Um, what's going on with the Haitians is a tragedy and we need to we, our, our asylum seeking process needs to be cleaner and more efficient and uh the humanitarian crises across the world need to be addressed okay because that's that's the problem a lot of people don't like immigration but don't seem to want to address the actual problems going on across the world and i know we don't have to be the world's police but we have problems. People are going to be leaving these countries because it's bad. The situations are really bad in some of these countries. So people are going to leave. Anyway, that's all I got. Peace out.